Welcome to the Sisterhood of the Women in the Paranormal. Join us as we celebrate the strong women of our paranormal industry with your host, Tammy Rosenfeld, on DTMWickedRadio.com. Hi, everyone. My name is Tammy Rosenfeld, and welcome to the Sisterhood of Women in the Paranormal. And um, I am the founder of Salt City Paranormal Investigations out of Syracuse, New York. And today is October 1st, 2013, and 30 more days until Halloween. Woohoo! Um, tonight, my special guest is Kelly Ann Burke from PIRS. Uh, before we get to, get to her, I want to mention two things. First of all, when you go on a ghost tour or a public ghost hunt, please, please do not vandalize the place or take something from that area to bring home with you. This recently happened to one of my friends, and it's unethical, unprofessional, and not cool. It is totally not cool. Um, And I also want to thank our sponsors. Rolling Hills Asylum, Dream Code Magazine, and Fort William Henry. Um, And you can find them on www.dtmwickedradio.com. And from my understanding, Kelly is not in, and has not called in yet. I'm waiting for Kelly. So, um... What else can I talk about? Oh, uh, I know there's a lot of paranormal teams out there that is that are getting ready to do all their special event for a month of October. If you don't, um, if you are with a paranormal team, you know that October is one of their busiest, busiest months, and they do a lot of paranormal teams. Um, do a lot of fundraisers and a lot of events. And surprisingly, paranormal teams do a lot of community service, especially in October. And they do a lot of fundraising for historical side and everything. I think we are going to go to commercial. Denny, can you go to commercial? Dreams Code Magazine is a proud sponsor of DTMWickedRadio.com. In Dream Code Magazine, you can learn all about ghosts, orbs, sleep paralysis, and more. Go to www.DreamCodesMagazine.com to order a subscription and learn more. The historical Fort William Henry Conference Center and Resort is a proud sponsor of DTM Wicked Radio. If you're looking for a relaxing getaway, the historical Fort William Henry Resort and Conference Center is your destination. Come enjoy the beautiful mountains, the gorgeous lake, and everything Lake George has to offer in upstate New York, right off the Adirondack Mountains. For reservations, you can go to www.fortwilliamhenry.com or call one 800 Two three four zero two six seven. The Fort William Henry Resort and Conference Center is your destination for the perfect getaway. Uh, oh, hello. 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 <laughs> I thought I lost you. Sorry. Oh no, I'm here. Okay, no, I just heard someone say something. Um, but um, we're we're based out of Central Wisconsin, and we've got um at least. I believe at this moment eight team members that uh like I said are mm-hmm. all pretty diverse and crazy like like us, <laughs> Mike and Mike and I, so we're pretty and how normal. Many do you have a, how many do you have on your team? Eight, you said? Yeah, we have about eight, yeah. Okay. Eight's a good size. Um the old team I used to be on we had thirteen total. Wow. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but not everyone Our, could go on every single investigation, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
we're we're taking on a couple new members because of that because we're finding that there's some like we've got a couple that are brand new parents so you know how that you know you you get very very busy and life becomes crazy and doing anything extra besides uh, trying to find time to sleep is impossible so uh, we're right. looking to add a few members so right now um, how did you become involved in the parent? Um, <laughs> it's kind of by a fluke. <laughs> um, I, uh, have, my brother has a roommate and, uh, he called me one night and he's like, Hey, I, I'm heading down to West Bend, which is, a um, towards Milwaukee, which is a bigger city in Wisconsin. And, uh, they were mm-hmm. saying, um, they were going to do this investigation of this old schoolhouse and, uh, or not schoolhouse, so sorry, um, uh, old, um, jailhouse. And uh, they were going to do that. And uh, he's like, oh, do you want to come along? And I'm like, well, maybe. I don't know. What are you going to do? And he said, oh, we're going to go on this investigation. And uh, that was back in 2006. I spent four hours in this jailhouse, which was really, really cool. And I've been back several times since. And, um, Mm -hmm. yeah, that was kind of my beginning. It was by fluke chance. I mean, I've always been interested, but, uh, Mm -hmm. yeah, (laughs) total chance. (laughs) Well, I know you wrote a blog, and you do an amazing blog. You talk about paranormal unity, and you did one about the women in the paranormal. So it's kind of cool. Can you tell us a little about your blog? Sure. Um, it started... Uh, because you know you know how Facebook is. You get on there, you know, when you're first yeah. starting and it's all exciting and you find all these people and, you know, there's ones that have bigger mouths than others and unfortunately some of them are <laughs> not as, um, they shouldn't be the ones having the big mouth, you know. They shouldn't be the, 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 the ego ones. But anyways, um, I noticed and I, I met up with some really neat people but nobody knew about them. And I'm like, well, this is kind of yeah. crazy because... You know, there's so many good groups out there, but they're not they're not really out there to to promote themselves heavily. Um, you right. know, they're just out there to help, and and I thought that was really interesting. And I wanted to do something other than just say, oh, hey, this is what our group is doing this month. You know, and I do that, but mm-hmm. I I enjoy working with other teams. And I know Paranormal Unity has mm-hmm. been thrown around, and you know, some people boohoo it and you know, say it's not possible, but, you know, it is on a certain level. I mean, obviously yeah. you're not going to get rid of the egos and the backstabbing and whatnot, but uh, <laughs> it is possible. It's possible to work with other groups and, and really have a good time and really help, you know, other people. It really is. Right. You know, and I work with a lot of groups, too, like DTM and just, you know, a lot of other groups, you know, and I investigate with the other groups, and you can learn a lot from other groups, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, most definitely. When I got when I got into this, I I got into it for all the wrong reasons. I mean, I'll be dead honest. I didn't get into it, you know, to help or anything like that. It was just, you know, the thrill. But then when I started meeting other people, and and Mike and I formed our own group, it was like, mm-hmm. oh my goodness, this is so much more than just you know the crap you see on TV. And so, yeah, working with other groups can really change you. It really can. Right. Um, I went to a big event, and there was a, a team there that had this plasma ball that brought up that electricity, and I'm thinking about, you know, getting one of that. And I wouldn't have known to use one of those unless, you know, I saw mm-hmm. another team doing it, you know? Oh, most so. definitely. Now, what is the scariest place you have ever investigated? Well, I don't know that it's... I would have to say Villisca. Um, Not so much that the place itself is scary. It's what happened. You know, I don't know if you you're um, familiar, but, you know, eight people were murdered brutally there, and there were children involved, and that... You don't know what kind of energy is left behind, and that I think is what kind of it kind of gets in the pit of your stomach. Um, but the place itself isn't scary. It's it's I think just uh-huh. more or less what happened there that messes with your mind a little bit. 
Now, um, do you think there's stuff in the land there, too, that happened? Is there stuff in the land, do you think? Um, I don't, I don't know. I mean, we've gotten so many different things, and other groups have gotten so many different things. I, I don't know. <laughs> because, you know, we have a place up here in New York. It's called Hinsdale House. And the movie was based on in a couple books, and I think some of the stuff comes from the land. It just comes into yeah. the place, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so it's an oh, old farmhouse. I'm mm-hmm. sorry, it's an old farmhouse like Vista is, too. So. Yeah. Yeah. See, the evidence... The, the stuff that I've gotten, and um, my best friend, Char, she's from Freaks. I love that name. Mm-hmm. Um, we've gotten is directly related to the people within the house. But there's other places okay. that I've been to. Like, I work at a spa, which I'm I'm at right now, so if you hear the phones ringing and stuff, I apologize. But um, the land itself is like a... Um, a the land itself is like a um, was buried uh, Indian burial ground. The whole like Green Lake where wow. I work is, and uh, okay. this is a brand new spot. But you hear things and and things you know go on that you don't understand. So yeah, it, I, I believe firmly that the land can be a part of it. At Villisca, I'm not right. really sure about, but yeah, definitely. Huh. Interesting. Now, I know you've been in the field since 2006, so you're a seasoned investigator. What would you say to a newbie or someone that's trying to get in the field? What advice would you give them? First of all, drop your ego. (laughs) Because, (laughs) you know, it gets in the way and it really clouds your judgment. Don't think that you know everything because you're never going to know everything. Um, right. And just always keep your mind open to learning and and read. Right. I mean, my goodness, right. how many books have we read, right? <laughs> right. right. But that would be my definitely. best advice, I think. Yeah. And it's definitely not TV. <laughs> no. Don't turn your television set off. Don't even look at those things. <laughs> I mean, they're entertainment, yes, but please don't use it as a reference. <laughs> It's a lot of waiting around, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, what is, if you could pick one place to investigate, what place would you pick? Oh, I would go to Romania. I have been fascinated oh. with uh, with um, Elizabeth Bathory since, I don't know, I've, I very young, and she was called um, the female version of Dracula, and that castle, yep. oh, I would love to go there. <laughs> that <laughs> is my number one on my bucket list. Isn't she the one that believes in killing people for their blood to make her yeah. to make her younger, right? Yep, yep, the, the blood one. of a virgin, yes. Yep. She wouldn't yeah, be very far. She wouldn't get very far in this day and age, but maybe back then. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> now, what is your favorite piece of equipment? I'm very old school, so all the bells and lights do not. I mean, they fascinate me. I'll be honest, but I'm blonde. I can't do too many things at one time. I will be dead <laughs> honest. So. I usually have my flashlight and my recorder and my camera, okay. of course, but my recorder. I think the recorder is my favorite thing because I can keep it in my hand. I can walk around, um, and therefore I don't trip and fall if I'm looking at lights because, again, I'm blonde and I can't do two things at once. So <laughs> it's just the easiest for me. But, yeah, the recorder, I think, is the thing that I've gotten the best evidence with. Really interesting. Huh. Yeah, recorder yeah, you can probably find the best evidence because, you know, with, with photographs, there's a lot of matrix singing, you know, and mm-hmm. things like that, you know. So, yeah, it's it's um, hard. You know how the hardcore skeptics will tear your butt apart if you put a picture uh-huh. up. Even if you just say, I don't know what this is, what do you think? They tear you apart, and it's like, yeah. no, 
that's why we don't post evidence. We just we are like, no, we're not doing anything. That's mostly what we do is private residence, anyways, and that that the stuff doesn't need to be out there, anyways. Right, I agree. I don't I don't post evidence either. That is between you and the client, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Confidentiality, and I, as my team, I take confidentiality high because I don't want people shunned in the community, you know. Exactly. Because it's. I may post a picture here and there of their home, but I won't even post a picture of their outside. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, this is not fair. Yeah, I agree. Now, uh, what is the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you on an investigation? (laughs) Oh, um, well, again, I'm blonde. (laughs) I have this tendency to trip over my own feet, and um, I've, you know, I have tripped. I have... um, you name it, I've done it. If it's, I mean, I had my top fly completely open, and yeah, it's it's embarrassing sometimes. It really is. So, but yeah, that's probably about the worst of it. I think it's not too bad. <laughs> I ran into a pole not once but twice. Mm. I've walked into walls, yeah. Because again, I can't walk and do thing two things at the same time. So it's like completely, you know, I I'm walking entertainment for these guys. I really am. Especially when you're holding your camcorder and you're looking through the thing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You have like tunnel vision, so you don't see the pole. There you go. There's the pole. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah, I walked into a wall that way. And so it was great. Good time. <laughs> <laughs> now, have you ever come across any animal spirits or anything like that? Not in any of the mm-hmm. ve- investigations. Not so much in any of the investigations that we've done. But my oh, mom, um, her cat, two of her cats actually passed away in her house. And the mm-hmm. one night I was there... Um, I'm sitting on the couch, and all of a sudden, this, my my mom's cat Magenta used to sit behind, you know, like how the couch that has, she'd sit right behind your head. And mm-hmm. I was sitting there, and I'm talking to my mom. All of a sudden, this thing just darted off of her couch. Now she hadn't gotten any cats after Magenta died. They were like no more cats uh, for now. So there wasn't an animal, and so. I, we always wonder if this cat, because this cat was just downright evil. She, You couldn't go near her. She didn't like you. And I always wonder, you know, if her energy stayed behind somehow. Interesting. Hmm. It was an evil cat, yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> Did she look evil? Did she have, like, red eyes and stuff? <laughs> Just kidding. Sometimes she was well. She was a Siamese cat, so she was just mean. And um, okay. yeah, you'd walk through the kitchen and she'd attack your calf and bite hard for no reason. <laughs> now, Kelly, do you believe in negative spirits, or you just believe that there, it depends on the person that they were? Like, well, you know. Um, People can be angry in life, and people can you can have angry spirits. But do you mm-hmm. believe in like negative entities or anything like that? Well, I tend to believe, like um, you know, some people they theorize how how you are in life is how you would be you know, as a spirit. I tend to believe more towards. Um, the angry and whatnot, as opposed to maybe evil. I know evil exists. I've seen it. I've experienced it. But from what I've experienced, I've never experienced an evil entity. But anger is definitely a very strong emotion, and I believe that um, it's definitely possible, you know, if you're angry in life, to come off as that as a spirit. Right. I, um, you know, my experience is I had negative things coming up to me as a teenager. I lived in a with a family, because my family was homeless for a while, that were in the dark arts, and I experienced negative, negative things that were never, never on this earth, I think, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Never right. were, 
we were never human, and I do believe in it too. So I was just curious if you believed in it. Well, you know, I think if I experienced it, I'm one of those. I'm yeah. I'm kind of skeptical, kind of believer. I'm I'm kind of one of those wishy washy in the middle kind of girls, but. If I were to experience it, then yeah, most definitely. Uh, I've been very fortunate to not experience it, so uh, yeah. At this point, but I'm I mean, sure it's out there. I'm sorry, what? Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say I'm sure it's out there. <laughs> yeah, it, it's rare. It's very rare, and it's mm-hmm. not like you know every TV show is like it, it, you know every TV show seems like it's becoming more. Demonic. Every spirit you yeah. see, oh, it's demonic. It's demonic. It's the no. It's rare. It's very rare. <laughs> so. I think on TV it's ratings. That's what they're getting is ratings. They're not finding demons. They're getting ratings. <laughs> um, now tell us where we can find your blog because your blog. If I suggest our, our, us, the listeners. Go to your blog because your blog is very interesting to read. It's very well oh, written and very good. So tell us where just, we can find your team and your blog. Sure. Well, um, you, on Facebook is probably the best bet. Um, I am actually just going to be starting it up again, uh, hopefully this week. Um, but uh, on our Facebook, uh, if you go out to Paranormal Investigation and Research Society, Otherwise, mm-hmm. you're more than welcome to look me up under Kelly Burke, or Kelly Ann Burke, excuse me. I've got my middle name in there. Why, I don't know. But um, okay. <laughs> uh, I will post it either place. Um, it's just okay. uh, it started out as just kind of like an experiment. I was only going to do four or five of them. And yeah. it's just kind of snowballed from there, and I, I love doing it. I had to take a break from it for a little while because um, right. of some some negativity came my way and I was like, eh, yeah. but I'm not going to yeah. stay away. They're not going to keep me down. Yeah. I got rid of all those negative you know, yeah. people that like to have terror drama. Oh, the yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're just not, it's not worth it anymore and I just, yeah. yeah. I agree. Well, I want to thank our listeners, and I want to thank you, Kelly, for coming on tonight. Um, oh, thank you so much for having me. I'm really honored. I really am. Thank you. Well, I, I, I was honored when you put me in your blog. That was, that was <laughs> um, I, um, I will post your um, blog and your team on my Facebook team page, so... Okay. Everyone can go and listen to that. Uh, I mean, look at that. I'm sorry, not listen. And I want to thank you, <laughs> Kelly, and thank you, listeners. Everyone have a good night and have a good week. Thank you.